Hi friends, today we are going to compare two of the most deadliest medium sized bears on the planet. And can you guess these two competitors? The giant panda versus the spectacled bear. And today we are going to compare them based on six different characteristics which are agility, attack, defense, bonus skill, intelligence and survival. And before we start let me show you the pictures of these two bears. This is a giant panda and this is a spectacled bear. So now you see how they look. Let me tell you two things before we start with their attack and defense. The two things are that first thing is thank you for making me reach more than 100 subscribers. And the second thing is that unlike my other animal battles, I am going to tell the winner in the next episode of my videos. So, you either have to write hashtag panda or either hashtag bear. If you write hashtag panda, I will consider it as a vote on the panda. And if you keep hashtag bear, I will consider the vote on the spectacle bear. So, let's start with their attack and defense as it greatly influenced their other characteristics. So, how large do pandas get? Male pandas are the largest here and they reach 160 centimeters. To 180 centimeters. Weigh about almost 160 kilograms. But they are smaller than spectacled bears but by a little bit. Spectacled bears reach 220 centimeters which is large for a bear or a medium sized bear. And here the largest are males just like other bears. And they weigh 40 kilograms more than the male giant panda at around 200 kilograms. So literally the spectacled bear is more balanced for its size and weight than the giant panda. So means it has a lower center of gravity. Means toppling it can be hard. So if you have almost the same, same length and same weight, you have less center of gravity. But if you are longer and have less weight, or you have more weight and less length that will cause a higher level of center of gravity. So let's not talk about that and let's see what would they like to eat. And before we start that, before telling and if I tell spectacle bear, spectacle bear, spectacle bear, it's going to be very hard to pronounce it. So I'm just going to keep it as bear. So. Whenever I say bear, think the spectacled bear, not other bears. So, what would you like to eat, Mr. Panda? I can recommend you bamboo. That's it, bamboo. These guys who are pandas, they always eat bamboo and 99% of their diet is composed by bamboo. This is not a highly nutritious food as bamboo contains fiber it cannot be digested by our body. So, it has to eat uh, almost 12 to 14 kilograms in order to have enough energy for a day. What about the other percent? 1% of the diet composed? Timber, birds, fish and rodents. So, that's it. Now, what about the spectacle bear? What would you like to eat? 
I can recommend you bamboo, other trees, orchid flowers or something with more meat like mountain tapirs, rabbits and again small rodents or a paka or a capybara. Actually these guys are omnivores so feasting on anything is easy and also this is omnivorous is very good because if you are a carnivore if there is no meat you will die and if you are only a herbivore if there is no if there is no plant food you might die but if you are an omnivore if there is no meat you can feast on plants if there is no plants then you can feast on meat so that's very good so the spectacled bear is better in eating than the giant panda but still the meat is only a only 7 to 8% composed in its eating habits whereas 92 to 93% is only plants so this is also bad and not as good as other bears like the kodiak bear and grizzly bear and the himalayan brown bear and the asiatic black bear so what about predators and defense giant pandas cannot be that much preyed upon but babies can be preyed upon by snow leopards birds of prey and wolves where spectacled bears are preyed upon just by cougars and here babies are only killed because a cougar is too small to kill a spectacled bear so that's it for the attack and defense stats Both are doing equally. Now let's look at their agility stats. Pandas can reach speeds of 32 kilometers per hour. They can also climb trees and swim. Whereas spectacle bears, they can run at 48 kilometers per hour and climb trees, which is highly unlikely of bears. And that's it for their agility stats. Even though the panda can swim, mostly spectacle bears can also swim good. And pandas are not good swimmers and bears are not very good swimmers at all. Except the polar bear. So, let's look at their intelligence stats. Both are highly intelligent. Pandas can come out of cages without any people knowing and spectacled bears are good understanders of their environment. They know that crops will take a long time to grow, to ripen and they need to be patient, not panic. So that's it for their intelligence stats. This is also a draw. Now, bonus skill stats. The panda has a thick woolly fur and has a sixth finger which is used in holding bamboo and a small good sense of hearing. What about the spectacle bear? It's a good hearer and good smeller. So, that's it for the bonus skill stats. Actually, the six finger is not much used in combat, but it can only be used in gripping, but that won't work that much. Now, finally, survival stats, because there is no point of high stats if a species is going extinct. Here, the, the both are doing bad. Both are listed as a vulnerable species. The pandas there are only 1850 giant pandas left in the wild and there are a lot of conservation efforts to save these cuties. The female will give birth to, two, to twins and as pandas don't get high nutrition, only the stronger of the twins will survive till adulthood. 
Now the spectacled bear, there are almost 2850 to 10,000 left in the wild. Here also, two twins are born and the stronger of them will survive but this is mostly 50% of the chances. So, we don't know. Either both will survive or either both will die or only one will survive and the other will die. So, that's it. Bears again doing better here. Actually, it was a wrong point in the bonus kill stats. So, actually, now I understood that the six finger is actually used in gripping fish and also can also be used for killing other predators. I almost forgot that point. So here, this is going to be a very close match. Pandas being very good in bonus skill stats and bears being very good in survival stats. So who is the winner? You have to vote in the comments down below. Write hashtag panda to vote for the giant panda and vote hashtag bear to vote for the spectacled bear. So subscribe to my channel and smack the like button for more videos. Respect animals.